In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A very strange and happy St. Patrick's Day to you, as we offer our Mass together. Lord Jesus, you came to heal sinners. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You raise us to new life. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord, you are God, always with us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace not forsake us, O Lord, we pray, but make us dedicated to your holy service, and at all times obtain for us your help, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Azariah stood up in the fire and prayed aloud. For your name's sake, O Lord, do not deliver us up forever, or make void your covenant. Do not take away your mercy from us for the sake of Abraham, your beloved, Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your Holy One, to whom you promised to multiply their offspring like the stars of heaven or the sand on the shore of the sea. For we are reduced, O oh Lord, beyond any other nation, brought low everywhere in the world this day because of our sins. We have in our day, no prince, prophet, or leader, no burnt offering, sacrifice, oblation, or incense, no place to offer first fruits to find favor with you. But with contrite heart and humble spirit, let us be received. As though it were burnt offerings of rams and bullocks, or thousands of fat lambs. So let our sacrifice be in your presence today as we follow you unreservedly. For those who trust in you cannot be put to shame. And now we follow you with our whole heart. We fear you and we pray to you. Do not let us be put to shame but deal with us in your kindness and great mercy. Deliver us by your wonders and bring glory to your name, O oh Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember your mercies, O oh Lord. Remember your mercies, O oh Lord. Your ways, O oh Lord, make known to me Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Remember your mercies, O oh Lord. Remember that your compassion, O oh Lord, and your kindness are from of all. In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O oh Lord. Remember your mercies, O oh Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus, he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, for I am gracious and merciful. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if 
if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times. Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying him back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave the debt. When that servant left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding payback what he owed. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with us, and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had him put into prison until he paid back the debt. Now when the other servants saw what happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the tormentors until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you, unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This is the first for all of us, and we're learning how to do this, and hopefully uh, in the days to come we will get better at it. A brief word, the Gospel talks about forgiveness, and today we celebrate the memory of St. Patrick, who so completely forgave the people who enslaved him that he went back to them to preach the gospel. Today, we ask for that same grace of forgiveness so that we, in turn, can preach the gospel to everyone. Now, God will. And let's continue with our petitions. And first of all, of course, we pray for delivery from this time of pandemic. We pray for health care workers, for all of our ministering to those suffering, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we are praying. For all who have asked us to pray for them, for the people of our parishes, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we are praying. And for the intentions of this Mass, for Richard and Dean Cook, and for all souls, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we are praying. Heavenly Father, accept our prayers, grant what we ask through Jesus. He is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, and will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all this holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray that this saving sacrifice may cleanse us of our faults and become an offering pleasing to your power. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just our duty, our salvation always and everywhere. To thank you, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our pride, contribute to the feeling of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. So we glorify you with angels, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are holy indeed, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time when he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of Peace, with Joseph, with the Apostles, with the Delbert, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now let us pray as the Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, deliver us, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await your blessed hope, coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Holy Trinity, 
kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Behold the Lamb of God, the Lord, who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are they who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the holy partaking of this mystery give us, Lord, we pray, life, and grant us your pardon and protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us continue to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.